Hi guys, I'm Karma Samdrup and today I'll be taking you to one of the most visited places in Bhutan, the Tiger's Nest. And if you want to know more, you'll have to come along with me. Alright, so um, guys, few details. Um, I'm here at the starting point. So at the starting point, there's a junction over here. So on your right is the hiking trail. On your left is the trail taken by the horses. So please don't make the mistake of taking the left trail. A few other important things that you need to remember is that you need to have the right gear, like proper footwear and on your way up please try to maintain silence because this is a very spiritual place and, and lastly the most important thing is take back your trash all right leave nothing but footprints and take back memories all right so let's go make some memories with me on our way up to the tiger's nest let's go Just imagine how peaceful this hike is to see so many species of birds undisturbed and calm. And guess what? Bhutan is a champion of environmental conservation. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to see a few of them on my way up. I remember eating these berries when I was a child. Never knew the scientific name or what it was called. So on our way up to Taksang, you'll find a lot of berries like this. It's called uh, the apple of Sodom or fox head or it's called nipple fruit. And you can imagine why it's called the nipple fruit. So here is the nipple fruit going up. Mm. It's got a similar taste too like um, I would say apples and peaches it's got a mixture of apple and peach mm. so I guess in case you forget your lunch you're not going to go hungry on the way up So it takes about an hour and a half to get to Taksong. With a gradual hike, you won't even notice that you've climbed 3,200 meters. And along the way, you get to enjoy the beautiful vegetation and the trees. This is my 8th time hiking up to Taksang and the feeling never gets old. I find each hike connects me more to the history and spiritual aura of this place. Hiking up to Taksang is more pleasant now compared to the previous years. The trails are smoother and wider making it a pleasant hike.
Although it is a year-round destination, the vegetation changes during different seasons. And during spring season, you get to enjoy the different shades of rhododendrons along the hike. Forty-five minutes into the hike, we reach halfway, and this is where most hikers take a break to re-energize themselves. From here, we can almost see Taksam up close face to face, but we still have another thirty minutes to go. In Bhutan, you will see these kinds of stacked stones, mostly on mountain passes and hiking routes. It is simply a form of offering to the local deities for safe passage. fascinated me how our ancestors could have built this place. On the face of a cliff which stands almost 3,000 meters above ground, Can you see this moss? This moss grows only in places where the environment is clean. 
and where there's less pollution and to have these moss grow on all the trees along the trail to one of the most visited places in Bhutan it's amazing you know yes. ah. but you can't eat that As I got closer to Taksang, I met two young monks who told me that there was a wish-fulfilling stupa in the monastery. And that got me thinking, I need to make a wish. So if you ever visit this place, don't forget to make a wish. Okay, so we're finally here now. We've been hiking for some time. Been tired, I'm hungry. But once you reach this place, look how magnificent this place is. It's so much worth it, you know. It's worth every step that I took from the base point down there. So, a little history about this place. Uh, so in the 8th century, Guru Rinpoche, he flew on a tigress to this place and then he meditated here. So later on, in 1629, a great saint built this monastery and called it Tak Tang. Tak meaning tiger, Tang meaning nest, which basically means tiger's nest. So here we have the tiger's nest. All right, so as you can see the beautiful valley down there. So that's where we started down there. So we hiked all the way up through there and then here we are. This is a beautiful valley. So let's go, go on. So close to Taksam, yet I have another few minutes until I reach my destination. With steep stairs, it almost feels like the stairway to heaven. As each step takes me closer to my destination, I am humbled, I am emotionally overwhelmed and ever grateful for the spiritual awakening. The mystical power and beauty of this place got me thinking if I will ever live this moment again. My journey to this place with you ends today and I hope you will make the spiritual journey to the tiger's nest. It is better to see something once 
than to hear about it a thousand times. <laughs>